My motivation is always the same, to tell a good story in the best possible way. And sometimes the story is more serious, sometimes it's, it's uh, to the comic side, but to try and, and find the right means, the right way to get the story across to the audience, of course. I do want to have an audience. <laughs> I guess I see my work primarily of being a witness to the world I live in, to, of course, my gender, my role in my own world, um, in my country, in my language, but also in other countries like Japan. Yes, Japan is important. The United States of America, important. Uh, Mexico is important to me. So they're different countries with very different, um, different elements. Uh, but Japan and Germany are very much alike in many, many aspects. And of course, you know, we share um, the fatal and ho horrible history of fascism in the last century. But then also after the war, we share a similar history. We s share the dream of America. Um, we share um, being torn between tradition and the vision of a modern lifestyle, whatever that was supposed to be. I think it's the, the strongest um, influence of all that I came to this country when I sev was 17. And you, when you're very young, you are like this, um, this, um, this uh, oh, what's the word, a schwamm. Um, a what's a schwamm? A sponge, thank you. <laughs> you're like a sponge. And um, it um, truly liberated me from my very German ways of um, sticking to a certain idea of education, a certain idea of having to be an intellectual, of a certain idea of how you can make art, which I found very, um, very uh, limited, especially for me as a woman. And coming to the United States was this one big liberation for me. And I also was very much influenced not only by the American filmmakers, that was the new American cinema that you know, I just devoured, but also American literature and American short story writing, like you know, the short stories of Raymond Carver, for instance. Having a certain idea or a certain approach to um, portraying our everyday life in, in the arts and through the arts, that was something that I found very different here in America than, than in Germany, where um, the idea that um, the mundane is not something that should be written about or made art about was very much um, the idea or the theory back in those days. It has not changed that much, really. Whereas in America, um, the mundane is the place where you can find all mysteries of the cosmos which I find much more intriguing and much more interesting, really, than to separate you know, between you know, the world of, I don't know, highbrow art and lowbrow, lowbrow what? Lowbrow everyday life, our life. I have no idea what they're going to do with my films, but um, I have generated interest from all kinds of different audiences and countries in the past. And I think right now it's um, even more important than before to stay in connection and communication with each other, especially in the United States and Europe, because we're drifting apart more and more, and to keep communicating with each other through the arts and through film, I find um, especially important now. And I hope that this is going to be a way to, yeah, to again, you know, plant seeds and to, yeah, hopefully get people more interested in each other. Well, that's a difficult question because I think like any other filmmaker, the latest film is always um, my favorite one because it's the closest to me. So right now it's uh, Greetings from Fukushima, but also I think Cherry Blossoms is maybe the one that is closest to me because it's the most personal film maybe that I've ever made.